Good evening. If you're wondering where that voice is coming from, we're coming from in front of Eastside Middle School's Great Art. So please make your way back uh, into the art show. Uh, we're going to be as quick as possible. So I'm your council member, Ben Kalos. And uh, for those of you online, that's at Ben Kalos. You can find me at Ben Kalos on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Pokemon Go. And I love art. Who here loves art? And what I love about art is art can take you places a car, a plane, even a spaceship can't. And whatever you can imagine, you can create. And you can put it up right here at Sotheby's. And you can make sure that when you bring it home, because if it's at Sotheby's, people are willing to give things for it. So you might be able to get somebody to read you an extra bedtime story, uh, or even better. And uh, this doesn't happen alone. And uh, I just want to take a moment to thank uh, Jane Levine, from the, who is the Executive Vice President of and Worldwide Director of Compliance at Sotheby's, for having us here tonight. If you can please join me in welcoming Jane Levine. Everybody here tonight. I don't think I remember seeing this many talented artists in this building all at one time. And I'm sure we'll see some of your work back here. Um, so thank you very much. Sotheby's is so happy to have, I think it's our third year hosting this. And um, I want to thank um, everyone who organized it and um, Ling and Patricia and welcome. Fantastic artwork. Thank you, everyone. Our next speaker is our principal at PS 183, Tara Napoleone, who helps make this happen. Please join me in welcoming her for helping organize it. Thank you. Good evening. As much as I'm the principal of PS 183, I want to speak for a moment on behalf of all of the principals and school leaders that are here. I know I see many of you from Medea 267 and 151 and 158, I see many of you here. I just want to first thank, thank you. We're so fortunate to be in such a magnificent space to celebrate our art programs and our students. So thank you um, on behalf of all of the principals for allowing us to showcase our students here. It's very special. And I also want to um, pay tribute to the students. Raise your hand if you're here because you have artwork on display. Impressive. But I also want to raise your hand if you're here to celebrate someone else's work from your school. That's amazing. So thank you. And I want to thank Sotheby's, everyone involved, and Councilmember Kalos for putting this together and sponsoring this event. It's very important to us. And I want to thank Juan Ling, who you'll hear from in a moment and Patricia, a parent who's instrumental in all of this, and at 183, our art teacher, Sophia, and then all of the other art teachers who facilitate and bring and inspire your students' art. Thank you. But I'm going to pass it now back to uh, Patricia. Yes. Introduce Patricia, one of our parents and our PTA co-president, who really did a lot of work behind this. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, almost four years ago, I came to Sotheby's to ask them for their support in sponsoring this art show. And in, in never in my wildest dream, I thought I would be here standing with 15 of the schools showing their work and around 400 people coming to celebrate this outpouring amount of uh, creativity. So, before I say my thank yous, I want to turn uh, this into the uh, this focus onto the artists, the real artists that are here showcasing their work. I want to thank you for your creativity. I want to thank you for sharing uh, your artwork with us. And I don't want to leave without thanking Sotheby's for their amazing work, especially uh, Elise Dreyer and uh, Jennifer Burns, who are our contacts at Sotheby's. I want to thank all the teachers and principals of the school for mounting um, 
organizing the World Center to ps one I want to thank uh, the council member Ben Kelos, who has been a champion of this show, and he and uh, he has done so much for our community. And this is his re-election year, so I wish you all the best. <laughs> Please vote for him, so we keep having the show. <laughs> And uh, I want to thank also all my friends who come and help me bring all the words and put them on the walls. And you know, 9 a.m. tomorrow, I need you to, to take the show down with me. And uh, last but not least, I want to thank Wan Ling, who I consider her a personal friend. And without her, this show will never be the same because she curates her and that puts a lot of fun. Thank you, Wan Ling. Thank you, Patricia, for that lovely introduction. Um, I okay, so and I don't want to forget anything, so I will be reading from this. But um, I am I am so pleased to be here at the reception with so many of these wonderful and talented artists. Um, so I'm currently also the Vice President of the Universal Council for Art Education and also known as UCAE. Um, and on behalf of UCAE, we want to thank Councilmember Kalos for sponsoring the exhibit, um, now third year in the row, Sotheby's for graciously hosting this exhibition, especially Jennifer Burns and Liz Dreyer. Um, this is such a beautiful space to showcase the students' work. PS183, Tarek Leone, uh, the parent volunteers who so generously donate their time to help install the show. Thank you so much. Um, and my partner, my co-chair, Patricia, who without her, really, this exhibition would not have taken place. Um, UCAE, since its inception, since 1968, in its first line of its mission statement is to advocate for art and art education. And they could, we really could not be more proud to be a supporter of this exhibition in such a prestigious space like Sotheby's. And it really underscores that art and art education in public schools matter. Um, lastly, most importantly, UCE would like to congratulate the art teachers for their hard work in, and their talent for supporting these artists and creating this wonderful work. Um, also to the principals and the assistant principals for making sure that there is an art program for this artwork to take place and to be created. And of course to the student artists. Um, Without you, we wouldn't have a show. And I want all of you to really take a look, a moment, and look around and see your artwork up on display, to see all the wonderful people that came to celebrate your artwork. And I hope you take this special experience with you and it inspires you to keep incorporating art in your life wherever that may take. So congratulations to all the artists. I just want to take one big moment to again thank uh, everyone from uh, Sotheby's to uh, Principal Napoleone, and I just want to take a, a, a separate moment to uh, thank uh, Patricia Corgi because she's a PTA parent, and when we missed the art show, uh, she actually worked with us and went to Sotheby's single-handedly and got them to work with us again and helped rebuild that partnership. And I think one key thing I want anyone to hear in this room is if you've got a great idea like this and you're just like Patricia and you want to make something happen, we're here to empower you. Because this city belongs to you and it belongs to your children. I want to thank Wan Ling and all our great public school teachers. Uh, Wan Ling puts this together. We, we give minimal sponsorship and she does this as a labor of love, as do all the teachers and all the principals at our schools. So thank you. And I'm just going to ask if you're an artist and your pieces are on the wall, if you can come up and join us for a quick photo. So we're going to ask all the artists to come join us in a quick photo. And we'll take a brief photo.
Okay, so we're going to head over to each school, we're going to take a group photo. So at this point, if you're an artist, please head over to the wall with your works on it. And I'll be wait, making my way around the room. I'm going to be starting at PS 183. And at the end of the evening, after I've taken a photo with every single school, I will go to the American flag and take individual photos. Thank you.